Today I'm going to share with you a tragic tale, hearing which you will be compelled to commend the flight crew for their courage and professionalism in the face of extremely unfortunate circumstances. On that fateful October day in 1992, El Al Flight 1862 embarked on a journey from JFK International Airport in New York City to Ben Gurion Airport in Tel Aviv, Israel, carrying its precious cargo through the skies. The engines of the Boeing 747-200F freighter propelled it forward with unrelenting determination, as it soared with strength and grace. However, the crew noticed erratic behavior with the autopilot's speed regulation and radio issues during the journey from New York to Amsterdam. The pilots also noticed changes in the voltage of the electrical generator in engine number 3, located in the right wing. When the plane made its refueling stop in Amsterdam's Schiphol Airport, they observed issues were repaired, at least provisionally, and a crew change took place. The captain, 59-year-old Yitzhak Futsch, had been a fighter-bomber pilot in the Israeli Air Force in the 1950s and had flown for El Al for 28 years. The first officer was 32-year-old Arnon Ohad, and the flight engineer, 61-year-old Gedaliah Sofer, was the most experienced crew member. Apart from the crew, 23-year-old Anat Solomon was on board as the single non-revenue passenger. At 18.21 hours, the plane began its takeoff roll from the runway, with a takeoff gross weight of 338.3 metric tons. The plane took its usual course after takeoff, and no anomalies were observed during the first five minutes. As the aircraft passed through an altitude of 6,500 feet above the Gunier Lake near Amsterdam, the engine number three separated itself from the right wing. Shooting forward, it damaged the wing slats and fell back and struck engine number four, tearing it from the wing. The two engines also tore a 10-meter stretch of the right wing's leading edge, causing severe damage to the aircraft structure. Witnesses on the ground and recreational boaters on the Gunier Lake reported a thunderous roar piercing the air, followed by a trail of smoke and a momentary flash of fire in the right wing. Following a mayday call to air traffic control, the aircraft turned to the right to make an emergency landing at Schiphol and immediately started dumping fuel. Neither the air traffic controller nor the pilots initially grasped the severity of the situation. While the pilots were aware that they had lost power from the two engines, they didn't know that the engines had completely detached and damaged the wing. Since the aircraft was only 7 miles from the airport and still at an altitude of 5,000 feet, it had no choice but to continue circling the airport as many times as needed, until it reduced its altitude and came within feasible range for landing. During an aircraft turn, the wing flaps are extended. In this Boeing 747 cargo jet, the inboard trailing edge flaps powered by the number one hydraulic system extended efficiently. However, the outboard trailing flaps powered by the number four hydraulic system couldn't extend since the system was damaged, meaning that the aircraft would have a higher pitch altitude than usual while slowing down. Apart from this, the leading edge slats didn't extend on the right wing, which had sustained extensive damage. As the plane slowed down for approach, the aircraft tilted towards the right due to differential flap configuration and increased lift on the left side. This resulted in the crew losing almost all ability to prevent the aircraft from rolling to the right, and the right roll soon reached 90 degrees. The once mighty aircraft, now a wounded giant, hurled towards the earth below. A sense of dread washed over the crew as they realized the unthinkable. They were losing the battle against fate. The use of several systems was lost or limited, subsequently leaving the flight crew with marginal control of the airplane. Due to the limited controllability, a safe landing became highly improbable. In a heartbreaking instant, the plane crashed into two high-rise apartment complexes in the bustling Belmamir neighborhood, and a big smoke cloud was seen over the city, shattering lives and dreams in an instant. The engine's detachment was traced back to the inadequate attachment of an engine pylon. This disaster, which was caused due to insufficient safety precautions, claimed the lives of four crew members and 39 innocent individuals on the ground. The crash of Il Al Flight 1862 serves as a somber reminder of the fragility of human existence and the unpredictable nature of the skies we navigate.